Good morning, your boy TJ. Five past six. I've been up for like 20 minutes. I'm dying at the minute because I got a leg tattoo yesterday. I'll show you in the next clip. But yeah, I think I've got to go gym. Feel terrible. Let's get it. Come on. A little physique update. Now here's the tattoo. Oh fuck. Massive. These are all my shoes by the way. Um Yeah, time to get ready for the gym. Time is currently half past six in the morning. I'm about to head collect my mate and then go to the gym, get a 45 minutes of an hour cardio session in to start the day off. My leg is absolutely killing. As you probably saw, it was a massive tattoo. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not even meant to exercise when you get a tattoo. Um, but this is all about discipline, you know, I've got a massive headache, I feel mentally drained But this is exactly what I'm talking about with discipline I don't want to be going to the gym right now I couldn't even really sleep last night because obviously my whole leg plus arse is GG But look what I'm getting done And I, there's not many people on the roads, look So all this shows to me is that you can do anything you put your mind to Discipline is key in life and if you want to start being successful and doing the correct things, then just start. Start by doing things other people aren't doing. Start by looking care. Start by caring about yourself. Looking after your physique, your mindset. If you're depressed, upset, whatever about your life or a person, then make a change. You are the only person that can change it. Stop self-destructing yourself and push on. Anyway. That's some motivation for this morning. Let's go get this gym session, baby. Look all these people. I'll pass. About seven in the morning. It's fully booked. I'm tired. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Let's go. <laughs> get it done. Gym is finished, Woo! cardio session done, tick it off. We did a walk as well, Take it. little physique check without a pump, which you guys just seen. It's getting there, lost a lot of weight to be fair. Now I just need to get the mass back up in the morning to view. But looking good, today's a big day. We've got a lot of TFF stuff on the go. A, a, lot, of, calls. a lot of business calls, some team meetings. You know how it is, big day in the life today. Make sure to like, follow, and enjoy the journey, Finish man. Finish week strong. Let's go, baby. Getting it done. Two eggs for the scrambled. Protein oats is in. I'll show you afterwards. But yeah, this is just staying on track, eating clean. You can make the most of, of something. If you don't like it, learn to like it. Put some fruit in it. Make some salt and pepper in it. Small changes, you know. Instead of having a sausage roll, a croissant, going to Greg's, getting a bacon roll. Have slightly healthier options, and then it'll just get a bit better. Bob's your uncle, done. So you've got scrambled egg, protein oats, some raspberries, and this is exactly all you need, honestly. Like I said this morning, I had a headache. I've managed to hydrate myself this morning. A litre, nearly a litre worth of water, which is great. It's a big problem, you know, not a lot of people hydrate themselves first thing in the morning or how you're gonna perform. And it's one of those things where doing exercise, going to the gym, staying on track, you stay hydrated, and then that increases your performance during the day. I'm gonna eat this, get showered, go get a coffee and start my day. Very simple, very chill day. Time is now 35 minutes past eight right now in the morning. So it's, it's not too early, it's not too late, but let's just get it done. Big day ahead. Right, I'm all showered now. I just wanted to say discipline is the only way you can get through. If I didn't have discipline, 
This morning, I would have just laid in bed, scrolling on my phone, which mentally drains your energy anyway. But what did I do instead? I got up, got myself to the gym. I didn't do any weights, just cardio. Perfect, one litre plus inside my system. I've still got the biggest headache ever because of my tattoo. It could be adrenaline, dump, something like that. It just drains you, I feel really tired and really just, I, I, I could take the day off, honestly. I could take a day off, but instead I'm making a video, I'm recording my whole day, I'm going to the gym, I've got work still, and I'm just pushing through and that's just something you have to learn to do. You've got to understand that in order to be better and to keep pushing on, you've just got to go. You've got to believe in yourself, get disciplined and keep going, otherwise you're just going to stay in the same place and you can get in a rut. I just found my card, wow. I've lost that for the past like two days. Didn't stress. I knew it would cut, turn up. I can't actually believe that. I'm absolutely gassed. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. I'm gonna get a coffee in a minute, wait for the missus to finish her meeting and then we'll head out. And then it will be about 10 a.m. by the time I get back. I just wanted to say like, just because you feel like shit, it's your body telling you, get up, go, be active. If you feel shit about yourself, exact same thing. Turn it round. Who cares what other people think of you? but turn it around if you want to make the change. And if you don't, you don't have to. It's not about getting a good physique, it really. It's just about you mentally being stable. And that's the end goal, you know, just to be happy with yourself, be proud of what you are and who you are. Now, discipline, last thing about discipline. I could potentially be doing a push session today. I could potentially be doing a push session today. Chest, shoulders, abs. I could be getting it done later in the day. Who knows, but it's early in the morning. I could feel better during the day. And then then on a day I didn't even want to train, I feel drained, I'm tired. I've trained twice. You see what discipline does? It's about having a routine and sticking to it, no matter what. If you let yourself go and you start allowing yourself to take off the breaks in life in general, or you get used to tricking yourself mentally that you're ill and you're not, there's so many things towards it and i'm just trying to learn as i go so what i'm saying might not even be the right facts but if i can help anyone improve themselves if i can help anyone that's struggling or anything like that then that's what i'm here for and me journaling my journey with you on a day-to-day -day basis monday wednesday friday is to give you guys a real perspective of a trader's day in the life but also me as a person and you can understand me better understand what i'm thinking and someone who's putting in all this work what how do they see it? Because I'm sure we all think we're all thinking the same, you know. Anyway, enough running on. Let's get on with the day. Come on, positive vibes. Twelve seconds later. My head hurts. Gonna go out for some food. Got a business meeting as well, so answer that while well, eating some food, doing two things at once. Let's go get some fajitas. Let's go. Yes, business meeting done, now time to dig in. I just got back from lunch, crazy day out, great food, end to a great week. I didn't end up going gym because I'm just got such a bad headache from yesterday. But as you can see, another big W, still went to the gym, did cardio, still pushing through business meetings, getting work done, recording, ready for the weekend. I might even do a day in the life tomorrow, who knows? But just remember to keep going, keep pushing yourself. And if you had a bad trading week, remember you don't have to trade every week, reset, Go again another another week. Don't just go straight back into it because mentally and psychologically, you're not ready to enter trade. Wait for a better setup. And if it takes two, three weeks, then so be it. It doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you make money and you stay profitable. It's been your boy TJ. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.